Density functional theory DFT is a computational quantum mechanical modeling method used in physics, chemistry and materials science to investigate the electronic structure, principally the ground state of many body systems, in particular atoms, molecules and the condensed phases. Using this theory, the properties of a many electron system can be determined by using functionals, i.e. functions of another function, which in this case is the spatially dependent electron density. Hence the name density functional theory comes from the use of functionals of the electron density. DFT is among the most popular and versatile methods available in condensed matter physics, computational physics, and computational chemistry. DFT has been very popular for calculations in solid-state physics since the 1970s. However, DFT was not considered accurate enough for calculations in quantum chemistry until the 1990s, when the approximations used in the theory were greatly refined to better model the exchange and correlation interactions. Computational costs are relatively low when compared to traditional methods, such as exchange-only Hartree-Fock theory and its descendants that include electron correlation. Despite recent improvements, there are still difficulties in using density functional theory to properly describe intermolecular interactions of critical importance to understanding chemical reactions, especially van der Waals forces dispersion, charge transfer excitations, transition states, global potential energy surfaces, dopant interactions and some strongly correlated systems, and in calculations of the band gap and ferromagnetism in semiconductors. The incomplete treatment of dispersion can adversely affect the accuracy of DFT at least when used alone and uncorrected in the treatment of systems which are dominated by dispersion e.g. interacting noble gas atoms or where dispersion competes significantly with other effects e.g. in biomolecules. The development of new DFT methods designed to overcome this problem, by alterations to the functional or by the inclusion of additive terms, is a current research topic. Overview of method In the context of computational materials science, ab initio from first principles DFT calculations allow the prediction and calculation of material behavior on the basis of quantum mechanical considerations, without requiring higher order parameters such as fundamental material properties. In contemporary DFT techniques the electronic structure is evaluated using a potential acting on the system's electrons. This DFT potential is constructed as the sum of external potentials vexed, which is determined solely by the structure and the elemental composition of the system, and an effective potential VEF, which represents interelectronic interactions. Thus, a problem for a representative supercell of a material with n electrons can be studied as a set of n1 electron Schrödinger-like equations, which are also known as Cohn-Sham equations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins. Although density functional theory has its roots in the Thomas Fermi model for the electronic structure of materials, DFT was first put on a firm theoretical footing by Walter Cohn and Pierre Hohenberg in the framework of the two Hohenberg Cohn theorems. HK. The original HK theorems held only for non degenerate ground states in the absence of a magnetic field, although they have since been generalized to encompass these. The first HK theorem demonstrates that the ground state properties of a many electron system are uniquely determined by an electron density that depends on only three spatial coordinates. It set down the groundwork for reducing the many body problem of n electrons with three n spatial coordinates to three spatial coordinates, through the use of functionals of the electron density. This theorem has since been extended to the time-dependent domain to develop time-dependent density functional theory TDDFT, which can be used to describe excited states. The second HK theorem defines an energy functional for the system and proves that the correct ground state electron density minimizes this energy functional. In work that later won them the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, the HK theorem was further developed by Walter Cohn and Lu Zhu Sham to produce Cohn-Sham DFT, DFT Within this framework, the intractable many-body problem of interacting electrons in a static external potential is reduced to a tractable problem of non-interacting electrons moving in an effective potential. The effective potential includes the external potential and the effects of the Coulomb interactions between the electrons, e.g., the exchange and correlation interactions. Modeling the latter two interactions becomes the difficulty within K's DFT. 
The simplest approximation is the local density approximation LDA, which is based upon exact exchange energy for a uniform electron gas, which can be obtained from the Thomas Fermi model, and from fits to the correlation energy for a uniform electron gas. Non-interacting systems are relatively easy to solve as the wave function can be represented as a Slater determinant of orbitals. Further, the kinetic energy functional of such a system is known exactly. The exchange correlation part of the total energy functional remains unknown and must be approximated. Another approach, less popular than K's DFT but arguably more closely related to the spirit of the original HK theorems, is orbital free density functional theory OFDFT, in which approximate functionals are also used for the kinetic energy of the noninteracting system. <laughs> Derivation and formalism As usual in many body electronic structure calculations, the nuclei of the treated molecules or clusters are seen as fixed the Born-Oppenheimer approximation, generating a static external potential V in which the electrons are moving. A stationary electronic state is then described by a wavefunction ψ R1, Rn satisfying the many electron time independent Schrödinger equation H caret psi equals T carrot plus V carrot plus U carrot psi equals I N minus two two M I I two plus I N V R I plus I J N U R I R J psi equals E psi display style hat H psi equals left hat T plus hat V plus hat U right psi equals left sum underscore I carrot N left F R A C H B A R carrot two two meters underscore I nabla underscore I carrot two right plus sum underscore I carrot N V left V E C R underscore I right plus sum underscore I where for the N electron system H is the Hamilton E is the total energy, T is the kinetic energy, V is the potential energy from the external field due to positively charged nuclei, and U is the electron electron interaction energy. The operators T and U are called universal operators as they are the same for any n electron system, while V is system dependent. This complicated many particle equation is not separable into simpler single particle equations because of the interaction term U. There are many sophisticated methods for solving the many body Schrödinger equation based on the expansion of the wavefunction in Slater determinants. While the simplest one is the Hartree Fock method, more sophisticated approaches are usually categorized as post Hartree Fock methods. However, the problem with these methods is the huge computational effort, which makes it virtually impossible to apply them efficiently to larger, more complex systems. Here DFT provides an appealing alternative, being much more versatile as it provides a way to systematically map the many-body problem, with U, onto a single-body problem without U. In DFT the key variable is the electron density N R, which for a normalized psi is given by N R equals n d 3 r 2 d 3 r n psi r r 2 r n psi r r 2 r n Display style n left vec r right equals n int mathrm d caret three r underscore two c d o t s int mathrm d caret three r underscore n psi caret asterisk left vec r vec r underscore two dots vec r underscore n right psi left vec r vec r underscore two dots vec r underscore n right this relation can be reversed, i.e., for a given ground state density n0 r, it is possible, in principle, to calculate the corresponding ground state wavefunction psi 0 r1, rn. 
In other words, psi is a unique functional of n zero. Psi zero equals psi n zero. Display style psi underscore zero equals psi n underscore zero. And consequently, the ground state expectation value of an observable O is also a functional of n zero. O n zero equals psi n zero o caret psi n zero display style o n underscore zero equals left langle psi n underscore zero left hat o right psi n underscore zero right wrangle. In particular, the ground state energy is a functional of n zero e zero equals e n zero equals psi n zero t caret plus v caret plus u caret psi n zero Display style e underscore zero equals e n underscore zero equals left langle psi n underscore zero left hat t plus hat v plus hat u right psi n underscore zero right wrangle, where the contribution of the external potential psi n zero v psi n zero can be written explicitly in terms of the ground state density n zero v n zero equals v r n 0 r d 3 r display style v n underscore 0 equals int v left vec r right n underscore 0 left vec r right mathrm d caret 3 r more generally the contribution of the external potential psi v psi can be written explicitly in terms of the density and v n equals v r n r d 3 r display style v n equals int v vec r n vec r mathrm d caret 3 r the functionals t n and u n are called universal functionals, while v n is called a non-universal functional, as it depends on the system under study. Having specified a system, i.e., having specified v, one then has to minimize the functional e n equals t n plus u n plus v r n r d 3 r display style e n equals t n plus u n plus int v vec r n vec r mathrm d caret 3 r with respect to n r assuming one has reliable expressions for t n and u n a successful minimization of the energy functional will yield the ground state density n0 and thus all other ground state observables. The variational problems of minimizing the energy functional E n can be solved by applying the Lagrangian method of undetermined multipliers. First, one considers an energy functional that does not explicitly have an electron-electron interaction energy term E s n equals psi S N T carrot plus V carrot S psi S N display style e underscore S N equals left Langle psi underscore mathrm S N left hat T plus hat V underscore mathrm S right psi underscore mathrm S N right wrangle where T denotes the kinetic energy operator and V S is an external effective potential in which the particles are moving, so that N S R N R. Thus, one can solve the so-called cone-sham equations of this auxiliary non-interacting system. 
minus two two M two plus V S R Phi I R equals Epsilon I Phi I R Display style left FRAC HBAR carrot two two meters nabla carrot two plus V underscore Mathem S V E C R right Varfi underscore I V E C R equals Var epsilon underscore I Varfi underscore I V E C R which yields the orbitals phi i that reproduce the density n r of the original many body system n r equals d e f n s r equals i n phi i r 2 Display style n vec r stackrel mathrm def equals n underscore mathrm s vec r equals sum underscore i caret n left var phi underscore i vec r right caret two. The effective single particle potential can be written in more detail as v s r equals v r plus e. 2 n s r r minus r d 3 r plus v x c n s r Display style v underscore mathrm s vec r equals v vec r plus int frac e caret two n underscore mathrm s left vec r right left vec r vec r right mathrm d caret three r plus v underscore mathrm x c n underscore mathrm s vec r where the second term denotes the so-called Hartree term describing the electron-electron Coulomb repulsion, while the last term Vxc is called the exchange correlation potential. Here, Vxc includes all the many particle interactions. Since the Hartree term and Vxc depend on n r, which depends on the phi i, which in turn depend on verses, the problem of solving the Cohn-Sham equation has to be done in a self-consistent i.e., iterative way. Usually one starts with an initial guess for n r, then calculates the corresponding verses and solves the Cohn-Sham equations for the phi i. From these one calculates a new density and starts again. This procedure is then repeated until convergence is reached. A non-iterative approximate formulation called Harris functional DFT is an alternative approach to this. Notes The one-to-one -one correspondence between electron density and single particle potential is not so smooth. It contains kinds of non-analytic structure. S N contains kinds of singularities, cuts and branches. This may indicate a limitation of our hope for representing exchange correlation functional in a simple analytic form. It is possible to extend the DFT idea to the case of the green function G instead of the density N. It is called as Luttinger Ward functional or kinds of similar functionals, written as E G. However, G is determined not as its minimum, but as its extremum. Thus we may have some theoretical and practical difficulties. There is no one-to-one -one correspondence between one-body density matrix N R, R and the one-body potential V R, R. Remember that all the eigenvalues of N R, R are 1. In other words, it ends up with a theory similar to the Hartree-Fock theory. Relativistic density functional theory explicit functional forms The same theorems can be proven in the case of relativistic electrons thereby providing generalization of DFT for the relativistic case Unlike the non-relativistic theory in the relativistic case it is possible to derive a few exact and explicit formulas for the relativistic density functional let one consider an electron in a hydrogen-like ion obeying the relativistic Dirac equation. 
The Hamiltonian H for a relativistic electron moving in the Coulomb potential can be chosen in the following form atomic units are used H equals C alpha P plus E V plus M C two beta Display style H equals C VEC alpha C D O T VEC P plus E V plus M C carrot two beta where V equals minus E Z R is the Coulomb potential of a point like nucleus, P is a momentum operator of the electron, and E, M and C are the elementary charge, electron mass and the speed of light respectively, and finally alpha and beta are a set of Dirac 2 times 2 matrices. Alpha equals zero sigma sigma zero beta equals i0 0 minus i display style begin aligned vec alpha and equals begin p matrix 0 and vec sigma vec sigma and 0 end p matrix beta and equals begin p matrix i and 0 0 and i end p matrix end aligned to find out the eigenfunctions and corresponding energies one solves the eigenfunction equation h psi equals e psi display style h psi equals e psi where psi equals psi 1 psi 2, psi 3, psi 4 t is a four-component wavefunction and E is the associated eigenenergy. It is demonstrated in Brack 1983 that application of the virial theorem to the eigenfunction equation produces the following formula for the eigenenergy of any bound state. E equals m c 2 psi beta psi equals m c 2 psi 1 2 plus psi 2 2 minus psi 3 2 minus psi 4 2 d tau Display style E equals mc carrot two left Langle psi left beta right psi right wrangle equals mc carrot two in left psi one right carrot two plus left psi two right carrot two left psi three right carrot two left psi four right carrot two mathrm d tau and analogously the virial theorem applied to the eigenfunction equation with the square of the Hamiltonian yields E two equals m 2 c 4 plus e m c 2 psi v beta psi Display style e caret two equals m caret two c caret four plus e m c caret two left langle psi left v beta right psi right wrangle it is easy to see that both of the above formulae represent density functionals. The former formula can be easily generalized for the multi-electron case. Topic: Approximations, exchange correlation functionals. The major problem with DFT is that the exact functionals for exchange and correlation are not known except for the free electron gas. However, approximations exist which permit the calculation of certain physical quantities quite accurately. In physics the most widely used approximation is the local density approximation LDA, where the functional depends only on the density at the coordinate where the functional is evaluated. E x c l d a n equals epsilon x c n n r d 3 r display style e underscore mathrm x c caret mathrm l d a n equals int var epsilon underscore mathrm x c n n v e c r mathrm d caret 3 r 
The local spin density approximation LSDA is a straightforward generalization of the LDA to include electron spin E x c l s d a n n equals epsilon x c n n n r d 3 r Display style e underscore mathrm x c caret mathrm l s d a left and underscore up arrow and underscore down arrow right equals int var epsilon underscore mathrm x c left and underscore up arrow and underscore down arrow right and vec r mathrm d caret three r. In LDA, the exchange correlation energy is typically separated into the exchange part and the correlation part. Epsilon x c equals epsilon x plus epsilon c. The exchange part is called the Dirac or sometimes Slater exchange which takes the form epsilon xn one third. There are, however, many mathematical forms for the correlation part. Highly accurate formulae for the correlation energy density epsilon c n, n have been constructed from quantum Monte Carlo simulations of gelium. A simple first principles correlation functional has been recently proposed as well. Although unrelated to the Monte Carlo simulation, the two variants provide compatible accuracy. The LDA assumes that the density is the same everywhere. Because of this, the LDA has a tendency to underestimate the exchange energy and overestimate the correlation energy. The errors due to the exchange and correlation parts tend to compensate each other to a certain degree. To correct for this tendency, it is common to expand in terms of the gradient of the density in order to account for the non-homogeneity of the true electron density. This allows for corrections based on the changes in density away from the coordinate. These expansions are referred to as generalized gradient approximations GGA and have the following form E x c g g a n n equals epsilon x c n n n n n r d 3 r Display style e underscore mathrm x c caret mathrm g g a left and underscore up arrow and underscore down arrow right equals int var epsilon underscore mathrm x c left and underscore up arrow and underscore down arrow nabla and underscore up arrow nabla and underscore down arrow right and vec r mathrm d caret three r Using the latter GGA, very good results for molecular geometries and ground state energies have been achieved. Potentially more accurate than the GGA functionals are the meta-GGA functionals, a natural development after the GGA generalized gradient approximation. Meta-GGA DFT functional in its original form includes the second derivative of the electron density the Laplacian, whereas GGA includes only the density and its first derivative in the exchange correlation potential. Functionals of this type are, for example, TPSS and the Minnesota functionals. These functionals include a further term in the expansion, depending on the density, the gradient of the density and the Laplacian second derivative of the density. Difficulties in expressing the exchange part of the energy can be relieved by including a component of the exact exchange energy calculated from Hartree-Fock theory. Functionals of this type are known as hybrid functionals. Generalizations to include magnetic fields The DFT formalism described above breaks down, to various degrees, in the presence of a vector potential, i.e. a magnetic field. In such a situation, the one-to-one -one mapping between the ground state electron density and wavefunction is lost. Generalizations to include the effects of magnetic fields have led to two different theories, current density functional theory CDFT and magnetic field density functional theory BDFT. In both these theories, the functional used for the exchange and correlation must be generalized to include more than just the electron density. 
In current density functional theory, developed by Vignal and Rosselt, the functionals become dependent on both the electron density and the paramagnetic current density. In magnetic field density functional theory, developed by Salisbury, Grace and Harris, the functionals depend on the electron density and the magnetic field, and the functional form can depend on the form of the magnetic field. In both of these theories it has been difficult to develop functionals beyond their equivalent to LDA, which are also readily implementable computationally. Recently an extension by Pan and Sani extended the hohenberg cohn theorem for varying magnetic fields using the density and the current density as fundamental variables. <laughs> <laughs> applications In general, density functional theory finds increasingly broad application in the chemical and materials sciences for the interpretation and prediction of complex system behavior at an atomic scale. Specifically, DFT computational methods are applied for the study of systems to synthesis and processing parameters. In such systems, experimental studies are often encumbered by inconsistent results and non-equilibrium conditions. Examples of contemporary DFT applications include studying the effects of dopants on phase transformation behavior in oxides, magnetic behavior in dilute magnetic semiconductor materials and the study of magnetic and electronic behavior in ferroelectrics and dilute magnetic semiconductors. Also, it has been shown that DFT has a good results in the prediction of sensitivity of some nanostructures to environment pollutants like sulfur dioxide or acrolein as well as prediction of mechanical properties. In practice, cone sham theory can be applied in several distinct ways depending on what is being investigated. In solid state calculations, the local density approximations are still commonly used along with plane wave basis sets, as an electron gas approach is more appropriate for electrons delocalized through an infinite solid. In molecular calculations, however, more sophisticated functionals are needed, and a huge variety of exchange correlation functionals have been developed for chemical applications. Some of these are inconsistent with the uniform electron gas approximation, however, they must reduce to LDA in the electron gas limit. Among physicists, probably the most widely used functional is the revised purdue burke ernzerhoff exchange model a direct generalized gradient parametrization of the free electron gas with no free parameters, however, this is not sufficiently calorimetrically accurate for gas phase molecular calculations. In the chemistry community, one popular functional is known as BLYP from the name Becca for the exchange part and Li, Yang and Par for the correlation part. Even more widely used is B3LYP which is a hybrid functional in which the exchange energy, in this case from Becca's exchange functional, is combined with the exact energy from Hartree-Fock theory. Along with the component exchange and correlation fun STNLs, three parameters define the hybrid functional, specifying how much of the exact exchange is mixed in. The adjustable parameters in hybrid functionals are generally fitted to a training set of molecules. Unfortunately, although the results obtained with these functionals are usually sufficiently accurate for most applications, there is no systematic way of improving them in contrast to some of the traditional wavefunction-based methods like configuration interaction or coupled cluster theory. Hence in the current DFT approach it is not possible to estimate the error of the calculations without comparing them to other methods or experiments. Thomas Fermi model The predecessor to density functional theory was the Thomas Fermi model, developed independently by both Thomas and Fermi in 1927. They used a statistical model to approximate the distribution of electrons in an atom. The mathematical basis postulated that electrons are distributed uniformly in phase space with two electrons in every H3 of volume. For each element of coordinate space volume d3r we can fill out a sphere of momentum space up to the Fermi momentum pf 4 3 pi p f 3 r display style tfrac 4 3 pi p underscore mathrm f caret 3 vec r equating the number of electrons in coordinate space to that in phase space gives N R equals eight Pi three H three P F three 
R Display style n vec r equals frac 8 pi 3 h caret 3 p underscore mathrm f caret 3 vec r. Solving for p f and substituting into the classical kinetic energy formula then leads directly to a kinetic energy represented as a functional of the electron density t t f n equals p. 2 m e n 1 3 2 2 m e n 2 3 r t t f n equals c f n R N two three R D three R equals C F N five three R D three R display style begin aligned T underscore mathem T F N and equals F R A C P carrot two two meters underscore mathem E propto F R A C left N carrot F R A C one three right carrot two two meters underscore mathem E propto N carrot F R A C two three V E C R six P T T underscore mathem T F N and equals C underscore mathem F int N V E C R N carrot F R A C 2 3 vec r mathrm d caret 3 r equals c underscore mathrm f in n caret frac 5 3 vec r mathrm d caret 3 r end aligned where cf equals 3 h 2 10 meters e 3 8 pi 2 3 display style c underscore mathrm f equals frac 3 h caret 2 10 meters underscore mathrm e left frac 3 8 pi right caret frac 2 3. As such, they were able to calculate the energy of an atom using this kinetic energy functional combined with the classical expressions for the nucleus electron and electron electron interactions, which can both also be represented in terms of the electron density. Although this was an important first step, the Thomas Fermi equation's accuracy is limited because the resulting kinetic energy functional is only approximate, and because the method does not attempt to represent the exchange energy of an atom as a conclusion of the Pauli principle. An exchange energy functional was added by Dirac in 1928. However, the Thomas Fermi Dirac theory remained rather inaccurate for most applications. The largest source of error was in the representation of the kinetic energy, followed by the errors in the exchange energy, and due to the complete neglect of electron correlation. Teller 1962 showed that Thomas Fermi theory cannot describe molecular bonding. This can be overcome by improving the kinetic energy functional. The kinetic energy functional can be improved by adding the Weizsäcker 1935 correction T W N equals 2 8 M N R 2 N R D 3 R Display style T underscore mathem W N equals FRAC HBAR carrot two eight meters int FRAC Nabla N VEC R carrot two N VEC R mathem D carrot three R Topic Hohenberg cone theorems The Hohenberg cone theorems relate to any system consisting of electrons moving under the influence of an external potential. Theorem 1. The external potential and hence the total energy is a unique functional of the electron density. If two systems of electrons, one trapped in a potential V1 R and the other in V2 R, have the same ground state density n R, then V1 R minus V2 R is necessarily a constant corollary. The ground state density uniquely determines the potential and thus all properties of the system, including the many-body wavefunction. 
In particular, the HK functional, defined as f n equals t n plus u n, is a universal functional of the density, not depending explicitly on the external potential. Theorem two. The functional that delivers the ground state energy of the system, gives the lowest energy if and only if the input density is the true ground state density, for any positive integer n and potential v r, a density functional f n exists such that e v n n equals f n plus v r n r D three R display style e underscore v n n equals f n plus in v v e c r n v e c r mathrm d caret three R obtains its minimal value at the ground state density of n electrons in the potential v R. The minimal value of e v n n is then the ground state energy of this system. Topic: Pseudo potentials. The many electron Schrödinger equation can be very much simplified if electrons are divided in two groups: valence electrons and inner core electrons. The electrons in the inner shells are strongly bound and do not play a significant role in the chemical binding of atoms. They also partially screen the nucleus, thus forming with the nucleus an almost inert core. Binding properties are almost completely due to the valence electrons, especially in metals and semiconductors. This separation suggests that inner electrons can be ignored in a large number of cases, thereby reducing the atom to an ionic core that interacts with the valence electrons. The use of an effective interaction, a pseudopotential, that approximates the potential felt by the valence electrons, was first proposed by Fermi in 1934 and Hellman in 1935. In spite of the simplification pseudo-potentials introduce in calculations, they remained forgotten until the late 1950s. A-flat initio pseudo-potentials A crucial step toward more realistic pseudo-potentials was given by Topp and Hopfield and more recently Cronin, who suggested that the pseudo-potential should be adjusted such that they describe the valence charge density accurately. Based on that idea, modern pseudo-potentials are obtained inverting the free atom Schrödinger equation for a given reference electronic configuration and forcing the pseudo-wave functions to coincide with the true valence wave functions beyond a certain distance RL. The pseudo wave functions are also forced to have the same norm as the true valence wave functions and can be written as R L P P R equals R N L A E R zero R L R L P P R two R two D R equals zero R L R N L A E R two R two D R display style begin aligned R underscore L carrot mathem P P R and equals R underscore N L carrot mathem A R six P T int underscore zero carrot R L left R underscore L carrot mathem P P R right carrot two R carrot two mathem D R and equals in underscore zero carrot R L left R underscore N L carrot mathem A R right carrot R two R carrot two Mathem D R end aligned where R L R is the radial part of the wave function with angular momentum L and P P and A denote, respectively, the pseudo wave function and the true all electron wave function. The index N in the true wave functions denotes the valence level. The distance beyond which the true and the pseudo wave functions are equal, R L, is also dependent on L. Topic. Electron smearing The electrons of system will occupy the lowest cone sham eigenstates up to a given energy level according to the Aufbau principle. This corresponds to the step-like Fermi-Dirac distribution at absolute zero. 
If there are several degenerate or close to degenerate eigenstates at the Fermi level, it is possible to get convergence problems, since very small perturbations may change the electron occupation. One way of damping these oscillations is to smear the electrons, i.e. allowing fractional occupancies. One approach of doing this is to assign a finite temperature to the electron Fermi Dirac distribution. Other ways is to assign a cumulative Gaussian distribution of the electrons or using a methfessel paxton method. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Software supporting DFT. DFT is supported by many quantum chemistry and solid-state physics software packages, often along with other methods. See also Basis set chemistry Dynamical mean field theory Gas in a box Harris functional Helium atom Cone-sham equations Local density approximation Molecule Molecular design software Molecular modeling Quantum chemistry Thomas Fermi model Time-dependent density functional theory Lists List of quantum chemistry and solid-state physics software List of software for molecular mechanics modeling